I'd like to start, if we can, first with prices, because, of course, back in 2018, you said within four years, so by 2022, Bitcoin would be at 250000 That obviously didn't happen in terms of uh, that dollar figure. Now you've said it'll happen in 2025. So we have, what, 12 plus months to go here. Do you still stand by that call? <laughs> Well, I don't know why anybody's still listening to me if I missed that one, but there was a moment in 2014 where it was Bitcoin was at um, about 180, and I said uh, that it was going to be worth 10,000 in three years, and it hit it almost to the date. And so I thought I was magic. And so when I predicted 250,000, I clearly didn't get it right. Um, oh, well, I didn't get it right in the four-year time horizon that I gave it. Uh, a few things I didn't expect. I didn't expect uh, the U.S. government to be so paranoid about it. And I didn't expect, I expected the U.S. government to figure out how to tax in it and figure out how to um, allow people to do business uh, with Bitcoin as their um, base currency. And, uh, and it's happened in a number of other countries. And that's why Bitcoin's doing so well, is other countries are recognizing how valuable it is to them. Uh, I know that um, people don't trust the Argentinian peso. Now they, they might, but um, or the Nigerian Naira at all. And uh, so people like to yeah. do business in Bitcoin in those countries. And so I think we've got... So I, I miscalculated on how aggressive the U, how you know scared the, gov the U.S. government was running, and now they realize that Bitcoin's actually better for everyone. It keeps perfect records. It um, you know the the people who they all thought were criminals using Bitcoin turns out they were all caught. So using dollars is probably better for um, for a criminal. <laughs> um, and, uh, so, and I think that there's going to be a moment where there's a run on the banks the way after the Civil War there was a run on uh, Confederate money and there was a run on the Greek drachma and a run on the French franc when they became a part of the euro. So I, I actually think that there will be a moment in time when I can buy my food, clothing and shelter all in Bitcoin. and. Uh, and people won't want dollars anymore. 